Celebrating International Observe the Moon Night, NASA leaders gather for an interdisciplinary space conference and the release of a new graphic novel. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On October 21st, people from around the world participated in International Observe the Moon Night, an annual event. NASA invited people to take part in celestial observations, learn about lunar science and exploration, and honor personal and cultural connections to the moon. As an agency, NASA has a legacy of lunar exploration, from Apollo to our Artemis missions. The moon is a stepping stone to understanding more about our solar system, galaxy, and universe. Learn more at moon.nasa.gov. Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy and NASA officials participated in the Accelerating Space Commerce, Exploration and New Discovery, or ASCEND, conference in Las Vegas. NASA astronauts Laurel O'Hara and Jasmine Mogbelli spoke to the conference live from the International Space Station. During the conference, panels and exhibits about NASA's space technology development, human sustainment, and radioisotope power systems were attended by government, academic, and industry professionals. The second issue of NASA's graphic novel series, First Woman, was released on Thursday, October 26th. First Woman, Expanding Our Universe, and its accompanying digital content showcases real technologies that will make living and working on the moon and eventually Mars possible. Other resources include a digital mixed reality environment and STEM resources available in English and Spanish. To learn more, go to nasa.gov slash CaliFirst. NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, opened its doors to the public and media on Saturday, October 21st, for the first time since 2017. People were invited to learn more about the center's innovative aerospace research. Center Director Clayton Turner and NASA astronaut Victor Glover met with the members of the public and media in several of NASA Langley's over 200 facilities. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.